Okay, so this is a quick walkthrough of Nokia Home Music. Uh, this is their home stereo device, and this is kind of an interface walkthrough. Um, so we're going to start here. Uh, first of all, all the way to the left, this is the standby screen. It's kind of a little carousel of options. You have the podcasting application. There's radio, and this is both FM and internet radio. There's uh, favorites, so you can store your favorite stations and uh, access them really quickly. There's a jukebox, which is local media, um, both shared over your network or uh, using a USB stick actually plugged into the device. And then there's a history tab here. This makes it easy to find things that you've already found before. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is actually set up the wireless connection. It does have Wi-Fi built in. So we're going to access the settings menu and go down to where it says network. And here you can change the network connection type. You can use either a wired, it does have an ethernet port, or you can choose wireless. Um, and so it's going to change the connection type for us. From here we can actually connect to uh, any of our available hotspots. So we're going to walk through setting that up. And I've already actually set mine up, but I'm going to see if it'll let me redo it. So set up wizard. It doesn't let you, okay. So here, this is basically the wizard. It's uh, plug in the cable, so choose wireless. It's gonna scan for wireless networks, and we choose Casa Guru, because that's me. And here you can enter in the password. I've entered in my password, and it has extra settings, which we're just gonna leave as is. So it's gonna set up the internet connection. This is going to enable me not only to use the internet radio, but if I also have any um, music shared or uh, across my network, which I actually do, I can then access that from the device, which is really cool. So I don't have to have a local copy of any music uh, if I have a wireless entertainment network set up. So now we're going to go back. We can, when you connect a, to a network, it'll automatically check for updates, which you can also do here from the maintenance. You can do a backup, a restore. You can do a software update, and this is going to ping Nokia servers and see if there's a update, which there's not. So now we're just going to go back to the main screen. So from here, we can let's check out the podcast. You can find podcasts here. You can also refresh them all. You can add new podcast URL if you know the actual uh, URL of your podcast and you can enter it there. You can also choose settings here which is uh, how often to update. And I'm not quite sure of the storage of this device but um, it does let you download the podcast here. So you have uh, different fold folders here with um, various podcasts that are available so let's pick one. Uh, we'll do a NPR And we'll just do the hearing voices one, just as an example. So these are episodes, and you can click on an episode. Support for this podcast comes from Regent Signature, the target group of digital marketing professionals. And it is actually, I misspoke, not downloading the podcast, but it's actually streaming it, from which NPR. is pretty cool. Um, voices. Although that's going to definitely suck when you want to listen to it offline. But obviously the uh, album art works well, and you can skip to the next one. There's no fast forward, obviously. So then you can pause it and we'll go back. Um, so that's the podcasting. The internet radio is definitely the one that I've been hearing, listening to the most. You have a fine net radio. You can also add an FM station if you have one that you want to listen to, and it does come with an antenna in the box. So when you find net radio, you can browse by genre, country, language. You can also search by the name, or obviously you can type in the URL. So um, I've already picked a few here. You can basically click on it, and it begins streaming. Uh, there's obviously no album art since it's internet radio, but it does tell you the connection speed there, 128 and uh, it gives you the title so this is your now playing screen it's really really boring I would definitely like to see uh, maybe a graphic equalizer or something like that some sort of visualization um, and then you can click the home button to automatically go back to the home screen if you'd like and then click click it again to go back here so we can go back out 
in favorites. Oh, well, we'll go back to here. So if you want to save this as a favorite, you can press the options button. You can get details. You can add to favorites. You can also set it as a preset. There are six preset buttons um, down here along the bottom. And those can be set to any radio station that you'd like, which is pretty cool. So you can start it up and automatically use that. Or you can add it to favorites and it just adds it as a bookmark, which you can obviously access from the home page. So then if we go into favorites here, these are ones that I've marked as favorites. I can also search if I uh, get a lot of favorites in there, I can search for one really easily through there. So the next one over is Jukebox. And in Jukebox, you can choose whether it's an auxiliary input, which obviously is not connected. You can choose the USB stick, which again, it tells me whether there's anything connected or not. And then I actually have my media center set up with uh, music being shared, so I can click here. I can browse through videos, pictures, playlists. So we'll go to music because I don't have any pictures or videos shared. And in here, it's going to take a moment to load, but obviously it is loading all of my music that I have shared over my home network. This is really, really cool. Um, again, if you have a media server set up, you can use this really, really easily to uh, browse through your various music. And once it does connect once, it'll um, save that so you don't have to load everything every time. So these are all of the tracks that I've got. You can obviously also browse those by genre uh, according to the ID tags on the music itself. So we can go to 90s anthems and this is browsing again network music. So I don't remember if this track actually has album art or not but it is supported obviously. Um, you can crank the volume which is actually pretty loud. So the device puts out quite a bit of music. Um, it's definitely enough to listen to. And then from options you can turn shuffle on, you can repeat all, or you can repeat single. Um, so you have a few options there. And then if we go back out to the main screen, then we also have the history. This lets us see a history of the things that we've listened to. So obviously it's got our podcast here, it's got that internet radio station and the local track so that you can quickly get back to everything. Uh, this definitely makes the device a lot easier to use. So a few of the cool options in here is an alarm. So you can set an alarm at uh, any time. So we're going to set this one at 5, 5 a.m. And from here you can edit it. You can also change the snooze interval. In the edit settings you can set the time you can specify whether it repeats or not, if it's a local track or um, a network shared track. You can use the source, which is the, um, you could do alarm tones, it's the currently playing, and then you can also set like an internet radio station, which is very, very cool. Unfortunately, there's no way to say the volume, so it actually just comes up at full volume, which is really frustrating. And then you can obviously change the name of the alarm as well if you'd like. So um, that's the alarm. There's also a timer, which is a sleep timer. So you can specify the number of minutes that you want it to continue to play and then turn off. So it'll stop playing in 45 minutes automatically. Great if you're gonna use this as a, night, as a uh, nightstand uh, accessory. Date and time is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you can set it as manual. You can also have it set automatically using the internet connection and it will update it. So that's really useful for daylight savings and that sort of thing. So that's just a quick run through of the Nokia Home Music. We will have uh, more photos of the connections in the back of the device and a little bit on the remote and then a little bit on just how it works in use um, a little bit later on. So thanks for watching.